Hello, everybody. I'm Adrian Denny with Grizzlies head coach and general manager Tim Branham as we have a chance to catch up here during the summer. Coach, first of all, let's take a look back at the season. You finished third in the conference. You had a good group of guys. You earned home ice advantage in the first round. I mean, you, you look at it. It was a great season for this hockey club. Attendance was the highest it was in over a decade, and the team was giving back to the community. It was a good year. Obviously, you know, the, the first round exit, but that's not what I think is the focus is it's what happened in year number one that was really, really good. Yeah. And I think it's a process. I mean, I think, uh, if you, if you look at the, the, the scheme of things, I think, like you said, we had a really good regular season, which, which is great. Uh, uh, we had a great group of guys, which with not just having a great group of guys, but they got out in the community and, and really made the community feel a part of the team. And I think that's, uh, for minor league sports, uh, for, for this organization, it's extremely important. And uh, I think we accomplished that goal, and, and, and we just need to, to stay out there. We need to make our players uh, you know, you know, be out there and, and, and allow, the, allow the fans to feel like they're, they're a part of this team and, and to, to come and to know the players and, and have something to cheer for when they, when they come to our games and um, you know educating them on on, on hockey for those that, that, that are new to the sport and and uh, making the games exciting for those who who, who are familiar with the sport and and uh, you know with the we had a really good regular season um, you know with the tie for the fewest losses at home I think uh, we had a really good home record and uh, which makes things exciting for the fans and and uh, you know we knew going into playoffs that no matter who we played, it was going to be a tough series. I mean, you, we played Bakersfield, who was the you know number seven seed or number six seed, whatever. But it, it doesn't, it didn't matter. I mean, every every team is really good, and it, it didn't matter if we played Stockton, who was the number seven seed. Um, every every series would have been tough, and you know it uh, came down to a couple of bounces, and you know th things happen. That uh, if we had a couple of bounces our way, we'd be in the next round. Yeah, that's how you look at it. I mean, ECHL playoffs, the Calder Cup playoffs, the Stanley Cup playoffs. If you lose a close game and you lose a game in overtime, you're essentially two games back instead of one game up. And Bakersfield winning those two straight games in overtime coming from behind. And they were a great hockey club. They got a bunch of help back from the AHL. They had a lot of experience coming back to their to their team. And they have a goaltender in Laurent Brassois who probably at some point is going to be in the NHL or come close to it. Yeah, exactly. I think he was the difference maker in the series. Uh, I mean, uh, there were a couple of those games there where we, we – we we took the pace to them. We we pretty much outplayed them. Uh, he came up with some big saves. Didn't let in a bad goal the entire series. And when you have a goalie, I mean, you look at the NHL. You look at the playoffs. Uh, the final four teams were the, the four best goalies in the league. Uh, it's it's no secret. Uh, you know, with with uh, Henrik Lundqvist in the finals now and Jonathan Quick is the two best goalies in the league. I mean, it is what it is. But uh, you know, he he made some real big saves when when they needed them. And but you know what? They played hard as well. Uh, they they earned their victories. They earned their goals. Every one of their goals was through hard work and and determination. And uh, you know it was, it was a good series. You knew it would be. So um, yeah, you know our, our boys need need to be proud of themselves. Uh, they had a, a great season, um, both on and off the ice, and that's what we were looking for. You look at the affiliation in Anaheim, and two players that were here most of the year, and Igor Bobkov and Tegan Zahn, I think make the affiliation worth it in itself. And then you get Andrew O'Brien, who's got a couple more years left on his entry level contract. Norm Ezekiel was on a one year AHL deal. You got, you know, little glimpses of Joseph Cramarosa and, and Charlie Sirot. The Anaheim system has been pretty good as you look at their success at the American Hockey League. They had a good year this year. They beat the top seed in in the Manchester Monarchs, the LA Kings affiliate, and it seemed like a, a solid fit. Yeah, it's it's a real good fit. They're a really good organization. If it weren't for all the injuries that they had up top in Anaheim, we would have seen a lot more players down here. Uh, just the way it is. I mean, we don't we don't want to see those players because we want them in the American League. But at the same token, uh, that is what development's all about. And uh, and with Anaheim just being riddled with injuries, uh, you know. Players got a chance in the American League. Players got a chance in the NHL, and that's the way it works. Uh, but a phenomenal uh, relationship that we have with with Anaheim, and uh, we're definitely looking forward to it here in the future. You look at you know the daily report that comes out with all the stats every day, and you can tell why this team was successful. Goals allowed, top five. Shots allowed, top five. Penalty kill, top five. Yeah, exactly. I mean, defense wins games. Uh, you know, it. Uh, I thought uh, our boys committed to playing defense, and we did a real good job at that. Uh, they battled hard all year. Our goaltending was was tremendous, um, but also our, our players in front of them, um, you know, limited the chances against. Uh, when you do that, you give yourself a chance to win, and uh, and, and we did that. We ran into a hot team in, in, in playoffs, and it could have went either way. You talk about the community involvement and how important it is, and it's not lip service. Every single team in the state, the country says, we want to be involved. We want to give back but going out and doing it and being out there three four times a week when you have four or five players out at a youth hockey practice the night before starting three games and four nights that's what this team was doing 
every single week. Yeah, it's extremely important. I mean, you look at this league, you look at minor league sports in general. Uh, if if you want to, you know, be around for, for 10, 12, 15, 20 years, you have to get out in the community. You have to make yourself available. Uh, it, it's the teams that, you know, aren't uh, budget conscious and the teams that just go out and, and uh, you know, re recruit the players that don't get out in the community or don't make your players get out in the community. Those, those teams don't last long. I mean, we've seen a lot of teams uh, one and done in this league and, and uh, you know, we want to be around for the long haul and uh, but we want, we need to be successful at the same time and I think we accomplished that last year and it's a stepping process and I think uh, we had a good first step and we got to continue to build on that. 20th year in Utah coming up for the Utah Grizzlies wrapping up with head coach and general manager Tim Branham and coach you've been here a year with your family you have a young child a baby born in, in February right in the middle of the season and uh, you know maybe a chance to take a deep breath for the first time since you've been here. Yeah, that's one thing. Uh, just trying to spend a lot of family time here in the in the summer months, and just kind of prepping for uh, for what we need to do and, and what we need going forward for our hockey club and for this organization. And uh, it's been nice. It's been nice to hang out with the family and and uh, spend time with my daughter and my wife. And uh, we'll go visit some family here a little bit. And it uh, yeah, great first year. Um, but again, we need to continue to build uh, and, and to see um, see strides every single year. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. Get your tickets now at utahgrizzlies.com and make sure you're following the Grizzlies on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.